Okay. Oh my God, for a technical person, of which I do still call myself one, we had some problems tonight. Um, but we're here, and the tech actually works. We're going to try something really sophisticated in a few minutes, which is um, zooming in um, one of our sponsors and getting on the big screen. We might even be able to hear him, wouldn't that be amazing? Um, anyway, I'm doing the slides in the wrong order. Welcome to London DevOps, everybody. Thank you to cut that out. Welcome to London DevOps, everybody. <laughs> Don't worry, we'll fix it in post. <laughs> Do the cheers get louder and louder the more often I say it? Welcome to London DevOps, everybody. <laughs> All right, okay, I'm not going to push my luck now. Um, Thank you to everyone for coming. Um, sorry if uh, getting in was a little bit, um, a little bit difficult. Um, trust me, there's been a lot of work gone into making that as seamless as it could be. So um, I'm glad you managed to get in. Um, so yeah, sorry we're starting a bit late, um, but better late than never, as they say. Um, who's been to London DevOps before? Yeah, too many times. <laughs> <laughs> How much? You don't have to come. Yeah? <laughs> there are other options. Yeah. <laughs> Is Love Island on at the moment? <laughs> too many times, too many times. Who's been to London DevOps too many times? Yeah. Right, you lot are all barred. Okay, uh, so who's here for the first time? Good, excellent, excellent. Um, I, I pretty, pretty much say the same thing every time, which is it's brilliant to see, it's brilliant to see that people come back, mostly. <laughs> But also really brilliant that we get new faces through the doors as well. Um, so yeah, I hope you enjoy yourselves tonight. We've got some, uh, some great talks lined up um, uh, for you tonight. So, London DevOps. Um, that's probably me messed up the, the apostrophe again, sorry. Um, here's a definition of a de DevOps for you. Um, DevOps has been around since, what, 2009 now. Um, we've uh, got so many definitions, more definitions than the um, number of days that Liz Truss is Prime Minister. For. Um, but here's one of my favourites. Um, it's a culture where people, regardless of title or background, work together to imagine, develop, and deploy um, oh, and operate a system um, from Ken at ThoughtWorks. Um, DevOps is as much about culture as it is about tools. Um, and also, for a lot of people, DevOps kind of means kind of this sort of thing um, with that rapidly dating uh, list of technology. Um, but for, for me, and I think for a lot of us here, it's all about that kind of that loop, that loop of, uh, of doing things, um, developing them, operating them, and then going back to the start, um, doing it all over again. So that's what De DevOps might be. Feel free to insert your own definitions here. Um, so we're London DevOps. Um, we've been doing this since 2004. If you were trying to team. say something that I would hear. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to London DevOps. <laughs> <laughs> This is Ari, everybody. <laughs> Say hi, Ari. <laughs> Everyone can hear you. Um, so we're jumping ahead, but that's fine. I mean, we've got a script. Um, what's, what's the point of having a script if we can't just throw it out the window? Um, so yeah, everyone is here. Sorry, Ari, I, I didn't. I, yeah, I hadn't triggered that you twig that you couldn't hear that I was making terrible jokes. Um, so. Oh, okay. So Ari is, is here, he's, um, he's not just here because randomly decided to go onto a Zoom um, and say hello. Um, we're actually onboarding a new sponsor tonight um, and um, that sponsor is a company called JFrog. Who's heard of JFrog? Yeah. Yeah. Sorry Ari, nobody put their hand up, nobody's heard of you. <laughs> How many people heard of Artifact or you probably? <laughs> Oh, yeah, fewer, fewer. Yeah, there's a few. There, yeah, there's a good number of hands, in all seriousness. Um, so, yeah, we're on board in JFrog. Um, they very generously decided to sponsor the group. Anybody else who wants to sponsor the group, please come and see me or Mark or Alex or Jack. Um, but, yeah, I'm just going to throw it to Ari now um, just, to, just to say a, a, little, a few words, if that's all right. All yours, mate. Awesome. Thank you so much. Much appreciated, Matt. Hi, everybody. Uh, my name, like Matt said, is Ari Waller, and I am the Community Programs Manager for JFrog, and we're really excited to be a platinum sponsor for the London DevOps Meetup group this year. I am really disappointed uh, that I cannot be there in person to meet you personally this time, but I hope to be there later in the year for another event. And, oh, wow, wow, now I'm 
wouldn't intimidate me. You didn't have to do that. Uh, this is awesome. Great to see everybody. Uh, now, for um, for those of you who are not familiar with Jay Frog, because Matt only said one or two of you raised your hands. Uh, I was joking. DevOps Software. He was joking. I, we are, <laughs> <laughs> we're the DevOps Software company founded in 2008. As you know, many of us heard of us through our flagship product, Artifactory. Um, but today, Jay Frog platform itself is a universal software supply chain platform for DevOps and security uh, that really does end-to-end -end uh, solutions uh, for all of your deployments. So uh, that's pretty much all I have to say about the product. Uh, as far as JFrog, though, I joined uh, JFrog almost four years ago uh, when we were at three to 400 employees, but right now we have grown to be almost 1,500 employees with 10 offices globally and over 2 million software engineers and DevOps engineers use our software on a daily basis. Now, one of those 10 offices, unfortunately, is not in the UK yet. But uh, I have some good news for you. Um, and I'm going to share my screen really quick because uh, JFrog is coming to visit uh, the UK actually next week. Um, and we are coming for a one-day DevSecOps event at the beautiful Mandarin Oriental High Park Hotel on June 27th. And we want to invite the entire DevOps London meetup community to join us for free. I don't know, just to go there, I think would be uh, cool in itself because this is a really beautiful place if you've been there before. But that being said, we have an action-packed day for you. Uh, you're going to meet lots of industry leaders, network in with your peers, you know, talk dead SecOps, and you'll hear from leaders in companies like Workday, AWS. You'll also meet Colleen Beal, who's the Chief Ambassador for the DevOps Institute. And of course, you'll meet some of our JFrog leadership as well, who are experts in the space. So if you are interested in coming, uh, there is, there's, there's still seats available. Um, if you want to go ahead and um, do, take the QR code and scan it, you will be able to register and join the event. It's a full day event, so it would be a really, really exciting. There will be some food served, um, and it's almost like a one day conference, which would be really exciting. So, with that being said, um, one other thing I wanted to share with you, I normally wouldn't share this on the first meeting, but at the same time, I'm not there in person. Since I'm not in the UK, I wanted to share it now. But JFrog cares really deeply about the technology community, and your feedback to us is a really important. We have a contest in June for those who are willing to fill out a three-minute survey. Um, this is done, it's a global contest with all the meetups that we do uh, throughout the globe, and everyone that fills out the survey will be entered in for a chance to win a Nintendo Switch. Uh, it never hurts to have two if you already have one. I actually have three because I have seven kids, but that's another story. Uh, the drawing will be after the first week in July, and the winner will be contacted by email. In fact, our first winner two months ago for this uh, actually was in the UK, so uh, I think you have some good chances. Uh, and also, by sharing your feedback with JFrog, it allows us to continue to sponsor communities like um, the London DevOps meetups, because that's really important to us as an organization. So again, overall, your feedback is really appreciated. But with that being said, I don't want to hold off on the talk that you came to hear about, but I want to thank Alex, Jack, Mark, and Matt just uh, uh, for allowing um, for allowing JFrog to be part of your community. It's so awesome to see everyone, and uh, I really am looking forward to coming out again. Thank you so much, everyone. Take care. Big round of applause for Harry. Thanks, Harry. All right, so back to the slides. Um, oops. Oops. Thank you for that, oops. All right. I'm happy to stay on for the talk and listen, but I don't want to be a distraction. <laughs> <laughs> Should we just leave Ari there on the screen? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to turn my screen off. You All right, mate. Go I'm going to mute. No worries if you can. I'm just going to mute you as well, if that's all right. There we go. <laughs> all right. So, <coughs> let's get back to this. Okay. So, right, where were we? Um, so, London DevOps. Um, this is what we're here for. We're here to share some knowledge, um, to meet new people. Um, you're probably sitting next to um, somebody who you've not met before, then do please say hello. Um, and uh, network and we're here to help each, each other out and we've got some great talks coming up um, where everything is shareable unless you hear um, otherwise. Um, nobody's yet um, in a talk said please don't tell anybody else about this um, but there's a first time for everything. Um, here's our YouTube channel 
Um, as you can probably see, Mark is recording, as he does so well. Um, and the talks, in theory, will be up on our YouTube channel uh, very soon after the meetup. So, code of conduct. It's uh, it's not quite yeah, zero. I can't hear anymore, unfortunately. <laughs> 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 all right, Ari. I think I, I'm just going to end the Zoom call, and I'll send you the recordings later, if that's all right. <laughs> Sounds good. All right. Cheers, man. See you later. Poor <laughs> 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 oh, poor Ari. Yeah, that's probably that. Didn't want the feedback. Okay. Uh, code of conduct. Um, Yes, uh, so I mentioned this last time, we're still, we're still scouting for people to be in part of a focus, focus group on DNI. Um, there's the organising committee here is uh, for progressively elderly uh, white males. Um, so uh, yeah, uh, if you want to help out in the code of conduct, um, the, the, uh, sorry, the DNI group, then please do uh, come, and, come and talk to one of us uh, if you can help us with that. Um, we want to do post event Zoom retros just to make sure that we are doing everything that we can um, well, I know we're not doing everything we can, so we want some help there um, on how we can do that better. So with that said, um, there is the code of conduct. Um, it is a serious thing. Um, we've invoked it twice. Um, I don't want to have to invoke it again. Um, and I'll just leave it there just for a minute. Wow, it was almost like a minute silent for the Queen passing. <laughs> Right, so um, we're here tonight um, thanks to, um, well, thanks to all you lot actually, um, but yeah, there's four of us who organise the events. Um, here we are. Um, first of all, um, Mark, who took over the group in 2014 and invited us all to join. Say hello, Mark. Yay. Hey, big round of applause for Mark. Fantastic. Um, there, there's me in the middle. Um, I, my day job is um, I'm the head of developer experience at Tide. Um, we are hiring Victoria. Are you here? No, so I think we have a talent partner coming later, so if you want to work with me, then come and say hello. Um, then uh, next we've got Jack um, from WeCheck. Where are you, Jack? Hello. Jack's over there. Um, and finally, no me by, uh, by no means last. Um, no, I'm going to bungle saying that joke, so I'm not going to. Where's Alex Dover? Right in front of me. He's right in front of me. <laughs> right, there he is. <laughs> Can't see the wood for the trees. Um, so yeah, we, we are organisers. Um, if you're liking what we're doing, then... Please do come and tell us that you like it. Um, don't flat our, our, thank you. Don't flat our egos too much. Um, but if there's things you want to help us improve, um, if you've got an idea for a talk, if you've got a venue, if you want to sponsor the group, etc., then uh, come and find one of us. Um, so yeah, you can send out some tweets um, if you want. Um, right. So the other sponsors. Uh, firstly, um, with us since the very beginning, Prism Digital. Alex David, do you want to say a few words? Thank you. Thank you, Matt. Hello, I'm Alex. So, as well as co organising this event, I'm also the founder of Prism Digital. We're a DevOps and Cloud talent partner. Um, that's, I guess, a cooler word than recruitment for me. Um, uh, so, yeah, if you're looking for a new role, if you're looking to hire in the space, we're really happy to talk about that um, or just talk about the market in general. You don't have to be looking for a new job or, or hiring, but yeah, that's what I'm here to do. Um, thank you very much. Thanks, Alex. Awesome. Uh, next, uh, we're represented by WeShape. Um, do you want to come up and say hello, Liam? Thank you. Here you go. Thanks, Matt. So, I'm Leah from WeShape. We are a, we are a tech consultancy specialising in DevOps and cloud. So there's a few of us around here tonight, if you want to put your hands up. I think they're at the back somewhere. Um, but yeah, if you want to come and have a chat, um, that'd be great. And we're very, very happy to be sponsoring. Brilliant. Thank you very much, Leah. <laughs> We've got a new sponsor. <laughs> well done, Harry. Thank you, Harry. Um, and uh, finally, O'Reilly, who also sponsor us. Um, they supply us with books and giveaways and things, um, which we might give away a book later on tonight. But we've, we've actually got lots of swag to give away from AWS tonight. Um, so, ooh, ooh. <laughs> London DevOps swag. And London DevOps swag, actually. Yes, we. Um, uh, thank you, Alex. Yes. Yeah. So we've got um, we've got new pin badges and stickers. Um, so please help yourself. Um, just me being nitpicky because I'm like looking after the budget for London DevOps. Um, don't take stickers and stick them on your beer bottle and throw them away. If you want to, yeah. if you want a sticker for your laptop <laughs> or something nice, then please absolutely do take a sticker. Um, if not, then yeah, otherwise it'll be none there for me. 
Right, so um, we're obviously um, very gratefully sponsored by AWS tonight. Um, we're in their magnificent venue. Yeah. And we've had some magnificent food. In fact, uh, you lot have already eaten and, uh, all the food and drunk most of the beer. So um, good work. Um, so yeah, so we'll just, uh, I'll just hand over to Matt, who's just going to say a few words um, about yeah. AWS. All right. Can I just give you that as well, just so we get you on the recording? Yeah, of course. Like that. So you want to hold on to that for me? Yeah. Yeah, and I'll give you that as well. Thank you. Sorry, too many, too many things. No, that's fine. So yeah, welcome everyone. Thank you very much for um, joining us uh, yeah, so at the like office. There we go. Yeah, perfect. So community events like this are just so important in the tech industry for getting everyone together, sharing knowledge, learning, and um, these guys have worked so hard on the sort of London DevOps meetups. It's a pleasure to be hosting it today. So yeah, welcome. And I've got a few colleagues here as well. Um, so we've got some customer solutions managers. We've got a few developer advocates some solution architects around the room. So can you just sort of stand up, give us a wave where you are? <laughs> Perfect. So this group are all customer facing or user facing. So we love talking to people out there that use our products and talking to that community. And uh, for two reasons, we like to help people get the most out of it and answer questions, but also it's great to hear the kind of feedback from you guys that we can then take into product teams and into the things we do. So it's really good to be getting involved. So feel free to ask questions if we have a break or afterwards reach out. We're here to, um, to answer any any questions that's it oh the final thing yeah there is a survey Amazon loves a survey and we love data so um, <laughs> it'd be fantastic if you can just take some time maybe at the end scan the QR code and then it's just very simple and it covers the venue and the, the speakers and things like that so yeah really appreciate that cool that's Thanks, it get on. thank you Brilliant. Okay. And that, and that. Gotcha. Thanks very much. Okay, yeah, um, we'll put that QR code up again uh, right at the end. Um, other events going on. Um, there's DevOps Days London. It's happening um, September the 21st and 22nd in the QE2 Centre. Tickets are on sale now. 20% discount there if you want the QR code. It's a brilliant event. Um, it's, uh, yeah, QE2, so not the Oval anymore, but at the QE2. Um, the call for papers is closed, so that bit's done, but um, they'd love to see everybody there um, at DevOps Day London. Okay, right, so, um, actually before I talk about the talks, um, one other thing, Paul Markham, did you have something to say? Where's Paul? Yeah. Yeah, Cloud Native, oh no, I had something to say about Cloud Native London Day celebrating its first anniversary, is that correct? Yeah, Cloud Native Media. Cloud Native Media meetup that Paul runs. It's first anniversary today. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well done. <laughs> so that meetup, how would you describe Cloud Native Media? Uh, it's kind of DevOps, but for broadcasting people, something like that? Uh, yeah, but, yeah, but it's not just for broadcasting people. But not just for broadcasting it's people. It's in media and doing DevOps. He let me come in one night, so yeah. Yeah, yeah. So obviously the bar is low. Right, so um, talks tonight. So we've got three great talks coming on um, tonight. So first of all, we're going to have Dylan who's going to be talking um, about unknown unknowns and how to know them. I'm glad I only had one beer before I attempted to say that. Um, then we'll follow that with uh, Liam, who was going to speak for us. Where's he gone? He's there. Oh, he's there. Thank God for that. Um, so we were going to have this talk a few, week, a few months ago, but it, it couldn't happen, unfortunately. So we're going to do the search re revolution from Liam um, from Microsoft, and then we're going to close out with um, navigating from complexity to observability with open telemetry from um, Danilo, um, who is over here from AWS. Um, right, so has anybody looked over here? No? Yeah. <laughs> yes. You're over here, so you, you've seen these. Um, we have AWS pens. We have AWS t-shirts. We have AWS Echo Dots. Ooh, everyone's like, do we want an Echo Dot? 
<laughs> Have I already got 17 Echo Dots? Do I want Bezos spying on me? You really want an Echo Dot, I've got some of these ones, they're great. Um, so, what we're going to do is, um, we'll do a little quiz at the end, isn't that exciting? A little quiz, so you need to pay attention in the talks, because the questions are going to be about the talks. So anyone falling asleep in the talks, I'm mad, is not going to do very well in the quiz. Um, so yeah, um, so at the end what we'll do is, um, we'll do the quiz, if you want an Echo Dot you can have an Echo Dot. Apparently some people would rather have a t-shirt than an Echo Dot, and that's fine, you can have a t-shirt. Um, and also at the end, if you ask a question, and it's a good one, judge will be me, um, then whatever's left over you can have um, your pick of those sort of things. So come over at the end and we'll do that. I think that kind of works for giving away the swag, right? Okay, right, so that's it. Um, yeah, we would have a food and drinks break, but you lot have eaten it all already. Um, so we will have a brief break because it is a bit warm in here. Um, you can get, there's tea and coffee and water at the back. I think we're out of beer, I'm afraid. Um, sorry about that um, and other drinks. Um, but, um, well, it's all your own fault, sorry. No, it's not really. Um, so yeah, tell us what you think. Um, yeah, don't tell us that Matt blaming everybody for drinking all the beer is, is a good thing, because it's not. Um, Meetup group, Twitter hashtag, um, email address there. Um, please do send us your feedback, tell us what you think. Right, I'll shut up and get out of the way and let, um, let Dylan speak. So thanks everybody, speak to you in a bit.